Hello loves, welcome to another episode of Creative Minds Journal. This is a series about creative journaling where you plan, express, and most importantly, create. I also want to invite you to my Facebook show, which is called Creative Minds, and that is where I do more creative journaling. The link is below this video, and I would love to have you be a part of the family. So let's start with a recap of June. I went for a colorful watermelon theme. I felt like I wanted something refreshing to start the summer off with, and so I came up with this cute, bright, and playful theme. I didn't end up using the hydration tracker as I thought I would, but other than that, I still love my mind spill page, and I love planning by the weeks. So here I am starting off with the base color and I'm just experimenting with different shades of blues and greens. Uh, this is not watercolor paper so it's a bit tricky to play around with um, but you know just doing what I can and what I have at the moment. If you are new to my videos you would know that I am not an artist or experienced painter. I just started this when I got into creative journaling and so I've just been having fun with this you know. This should be all about your time being in the moment being present and having fun with the creative process. It's about just being present and um, that's what I'm doing right now. This is a meditative state for me and when I mix the colors together, I see what I like, I go for it and if I don't like it, then I just cover it up with black. <laughs> Sometimes the dark ocean can look like the galaxy. So what I'm doing here is painting in little bubbles in different shapes and sizes that almost represents the stars up in the sky. And then I'm painting in my jellyfish with my white paint. The white paint kind of picked up some of the purple and blues, which makes it really pretty. And uh, I, j I just layer it in different um, shades so that way, you know, it adds some depth. And then after that, I'm going in with some glitter. This is actually my glitter eyeliner. I didn't have any glitter paint left, and so I used glitter eyeliner to give it a little sparkle, and it looks really cute this way. And now I am on to the planning process. I like to lay out everything by the week. Uh, I feel like laying things by the day, like daily planning, is a bit too much for me. It feels overwhelming and a bit redundant to write everything down again. Depending on your lifestyle, daily planning can be very helpful to write down specific tasks that you need to get accomplished. But for me, it feels overwhelming just to see so many things on my planner. So I rather focus on the highlighted parts. For this next set of pages, I have my calendar, which I love seeing like a nice visual full calendar in the corner or on the side, and then a to-do list of other things that I need to add during the month. By the way, if you're watching this far into the video, leave an emoji of your favorite sea creature on the bottom of this video. Also on the side of my to-do list, I have a gratitude section where I write down everything I am grateful for currently or whatever I remember or that's on my mind. I write it down here and it's just been a beautiful, amazing process to try out and I highly recommend for you all to give it a try. I really love how this jellyfish turned out. At first when I painted it, it didn't look so cute, but then as I kept on going, I didn't stop. I started to really love it and then I finalize it with a little glitter which makes it even better. <laughs> Lastly, I just added in some accents in the corner to give this a nice cohesive feel. That is all for my July spread. I certainly enjoy sharing today's video with you and if you enjoy it as well, please support this video by following and sharing it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you soon. Love you. Ciao.